I can pull a good coffee, don't get me wrong. Oh, we'll we'll should, we, should we start? Should we start at the beginning? Yeah. It's always a good place to start. I'm trying to explain, but you seem to keep putting me off. I wanted to do a nice hour of stand up here, make everyone happy, make everyone laugh, and you just cut me down at every opportunity. Well, I tried. I tried before. Yeah. Don't have that was off. We've had all day. The nicest place ever. Get the wrong way. Oh, I'm not pleased with anyone, believe you me. Believe you me. I don't, I don't, I don't get on as well with don't the boss anyone, do you? Really. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not up to me, is it? Why not? There's always been broken in the shop. I can't tell. There's not, there's not even a valley. There'll be a lot less people. Yeah, there's a lot more people. Yeah, there's a lot more people. Yeah, there's a lot more people. Yeah. I mean, you'll be able to crack in. So easy. Millions. could be better invested elsewhere. Britain, 21st century. Welcome to the New World Order. We're here on the Connell Avenue, Moscow, Manchester. Terrible. All that happens to their kids, you know. All right, five years, you've been working for G4S. See yeah. how much you're getting paid then. Yeah, there'll be no pension. Hey. What happens to your kids as well, right. when, they're, when they're older? You know, selling out, you're selling out your own people. people. Yeah, sure. Yeah, when your parents are not around. Selling out your own people. Terrible. All this for one man in Manchester, look at the state of it, eh? Yeah. You wonder why people, people don't like police. It's alright, the time's coming. It'll be your turn one day, hey. lads. Trust Shame me. on you. They're making plans to get rid of you now with all the layoffs and the cuts exactly, and everything. Yeah. Give us a it doesn't matter though, we'll still come and support you regardless. We're not the enemy, we're paying your wages. Selling your children down the river. Shame on you! 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 Facilitating the corporations once again. Bailiff's assistance you've become. Hey, to serve and protect. What happened to that? What happened to your own? Don't know. We're working for bailiffs. What happened to your oath? You swore an oath. What are you doing? Told you. Fighting, fighting the people, protecting crime and corporations. Ah, well, paedophiles. Paedophiles. Protecting paedophiles, that's all you're doing. What's the point in working in this, uh, in this country if you, this is happened to you? Eh? You know what I mean? You know, what, what, you know, what, what thought did people work for? You know? He hasn't got no, he hasn't got no parents, Ali, you know what I mean? And yet you've come to do all this to him. You might yeah, smile and all laugh at it, but at the end of the day, it might happen to your kids when you're, you know, when all you're using it. Right, when you're on half pay, with no pension for G4S in five years' time, come, don't come running to us. Yeah. This when you've no pension, your kids have been sold down the river. You won't be there to help him, like he's no one there to help him up there. You want to be ashamed of yourselves. Hang your heads in shame. Your grandchildren will see this. Yeah, they will. Hey, and they'll curse you. That's what they'll do. Is that what my daddy done? Bloody hell, that's yeah. terrible, that. Look what my mum and my dad did. Bloody hell. Look what they facilitated. Exactly. 
Where's the person from the council I'll come there, not here? The bent ones. Because hmm? they pay these guys to do it now, haven't you heard? Mm. Okay. Get it. GMP. Shouldn't the bent person It's all about profit it. these days. Fake it's about banks, making fake the money. courts, yeah. fake money, fake yeah. police. Yeah. Rubber money stamping clowns yourself. sat in some courtroom somewhere. Bang, 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 with a little rubber stamp and everything. Yeah, let's go and have it, lads. Come on. <laughs> No one commenting on anything, no. Yeah, they can't comment because yeah. they know they're in the wrong. Yeah. No. We are the enemy. Take your, take your piece of silver now, tell you. Five years' time, half pay, no pension, working for G4S. Yeah. Working well, for Israel, Probably have you reading me as if the truth's known. See, they smile, don't <laughs> yeah. they? But, you know, think, oh, that'll happen yeah. to me, but it will do. Yeah. You always see people's day come, don't they? Yeah. Don't they? for a debt of £1,000. The warrant was granted this morning. So this is the first serving of the warrant. Forcing entry on the first serving is illegal. The police were informed before they attempted entry. Soldier children, this is servitude. Well done, chaps. Welcome to the New World Order. Remember what happened in Nuremberg, guys? We've been reading gas meters soon, anyway, won't we, when the G4S takes their jobs? What goes around comes around. Happy with that, chaps, are we? Did you have the refresher bar? Fascist. Is Joseph Mengele your brother? Well, come a time, you know, chaps, when saying I was just doing my job won't wash. Didn't wash in Nuremberg, it won't wash in the future. You've sold your children right down the river. Hope you're proud of yourselves. I like to think common purpose hasn't done its job totally, but you're starting to think. £6,500 late business rates, think it was. Yeah. Job well done, chaps. Sold your children down the river. Job well done. Just what Italy needed. Yeah, fantastic. Keep up all in the legal side of things. I like outfits. Fight for your pension, chaps, because it won't last.
break your own sir. Well, you break, sir. you're breaking your oath here I mean, by you assisting the bailiffs. You know, a private corporation, sir. Uh, that's not in your but, oath. Uh, I'm, well, I'm, just, I'm just making sure you've got uh, all your information for your report. You're not interested, are you? We're just the enemy, aren't we? I'm simply making sure you've got your information for yeah, your sir. report. You'll yeah, look yeah. on in this in five years, yeah, mate, and you'll hang your head in shame. Your children will have to see this eventually. <laughs> we're just the enemy, who are we? We're just, we're just good to pay their wages. Work, pay tax, you know, and then say we're just here to assist the, the bailiffs. It's, um, yeah, they've, they've used the Insolvency Act to, to you know, as a, as a reason to, to break in. Um, obviously it's, um, it's, it's the corporate police being used to uh, involve themselves in a civil matter. You know, this is a, you know, uh, it started off as a, a you know a business race dispute. It went into a bankruptcy. Now, for for what was a six grand dispute, like you know, they're asking for seventy five grand. You know, for a person just to remain in the home. It's it's corruption. It's the banks have gone wild, right? They they they're claiming that you know they, they, this house is worth a hundred thousand pounds. Like you know, they've well they've well overvalued it for the area and everything. It's just because they're greedy. They want to do a land grab and just sell that for profit. They don't care who they put out on the streets. But it's it's a shame. Uh, I've had some interesting conversations while I was filming over there with some of the officers concerned. You know, and they, they, they are people at the end of the day. They know something's wrong, but they're they're given the instructions to toe the corporate line, go in there and just help help the banks and the profiteers and, and kick people out of their homes. It's a travesty what's going on in this country today. There was no sense of shame from those that uh, them no. corporate thugs that just smashed the door in there, was there? There was no. They, they knew exactly what they were doing. They're just following orders, and you know that's. I'm sure that'll be the excuse they'll use in years to come when they are held to account. Wait, wait, wait. Made me homeless. Wait, 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 wait. For a trump's up debt of six thousand and eighty pound, they didn't owe, yes. which is multiplied to seventy six thousand pound. In a, an industry created for taking people's property off them for very small amounts of money setting every trap in the book, playing it out of your rights, um, being led astray by council officials to play you out, out of your rights, with liability orders that when you go to civil court, the civil, there's a catch-22 where the, the judge can't do anything made in the magistrates, do anything about made, something made in the magistrates court. It's a stitched up. Every, every chance of getting justice in a civil court has been stitched up. Every little bolt hole Every little chance of justice has been preempted by another um, comparison case to block that, to block every chance of you, you overturning a debt. My only sin is I had an argument with the council. How dare I argue with the council? How dare you? This is a gun at your head. Hey, up! Don't come and argue, otherwise we'll take your house off you. End of story, really. And we've seen the fascism in action today, haven't we? Corporations. Well, these people. I don't know. They, 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 they swear an oath under common law to protect the people. They're, they're protecting big organisations, they're protecting money, they're protecting corporations. But that isn't the job. They're supposed to be here to mediate. They've, they've actually broken the door down. The police are the, 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 the dro dro drones of the council. They're, they're, they're bully boys, just paid meat. There's no, there's no justice in it. It's not austerity, it's robbery. There I am. Homeless. I do. We won't end there and we'll fight on. We'll see where we can go with this.